Okay, this video is going to show the El Cheapo laser on a CNC router. So I've made a new mount for it that works with the router that I have and it's simple to take and take on and off. I got quick disconnects for the wires and then I have four screws which I can put in and then hook it up. Down at the bottom I've put in a limit switch so just in case something goes wrong uh, with the system or the settings, I've got a limit switch to protect the laser and stop the machine from driving down. And the way I've powered this is we run up here and we've got a 12 volt source with a cigarette plug and that is being run back over here by our converter that's running into the same AC outlet right there as the spindle or the router normally gets hooked up to. And then back over here we can see this is my controls. I'm using Mach 3 and just designing the parts over here in sheet cam. And this is what we're going to cut. So that goes from sheet cam to Mach 3 and then we're going to take in and run from there. So let's take in one more thing of the uh, table that it's sitting on and what I'm going to be cutting. This is some thin foam sheet got it at the dollar store and makes uh, quick and easy and inexpensive testing for cutting and then that's sitting on my vacuum table which is also con controlled through mock and you'll hear that when it starts up and, and uh, just to hold everything in place during the cutting. Okay, so let's get to the cutting. Okay, I've got the machine set up for my zero in the uh, corner coordinates. And then, uh, all, as always, make sure you guys are wearing your laser glasses anytime that you're using the laser. Okay, so we're going to turn on the vacuum. We're going to pull our sheet down to the table and make sure that it can't run away on us. And here we go. Okay, so there is the finished cut, and you can take and kind of see a, a close-up there. People are probably wondering what this was cut at. The focal length I used was two inches, and you still have to adjust by that little adjustment there to find what works best for you. I had to play with it a little bit. I'm using two inches for a focal length, and on this foam I used 20 inches per minute to cut this. And that was just something I uh, played with a couple times to try to get it uh, to where I wanted to take and use it. 
So here you can see it did a uh, pretty darn good job. I mean, this is the uh, you can see my my spoil board down here, and I've this is probably the third test. So I've got some tweaking to do yet, but uh, this one came out pretty good. I think we're we're narrowing it in and uh, getting things under control. If you want some more information on this or some of our other products and projects, you can take and go to www cncrouterbuild.com Thanks for watching.